Hello, I'm Elliot Berger, Senior Scientist Auditory Research for the 3M Occupational Health and Environmental Safety Division. This short film is one in a series of videos that we have created to help our customers use our products more effectively. In the next few minutes, I will discuss key points of properly and safely wearing a pre-molded earplug like the EAR brand UltraFit Hearing Protector. Although earplugs are relatively easy to use, if you pay attention to these tips, you will likely get better and more consistent levels of protection. Proper insertion of an earplug may seem obvious. Just stick it in your ear. However, for many of us, bends and shape changes in the ear canal make it difficult to fit the plug well. So the key when you're first learning how to use an earplug or another style of earplug is to first reach over your head with a hand opposite the ear that is being fitted and grasp the ear firmly and pull it upwards and outwards. The reason that we do this, as shown here, is that pulling on the ear changes the shape of the ear canal opening. It straightens and enlarges the ear canal to make it easier to push the plug into place. By the way, I want you to reach over your head to pull on your ear with the hand opposite the ear that is being fitted so that you can be bringing the ear plug to the ear with the same hand as the ear you are fitting. This gives you better control of the ear plug for a better insertion. So for example, use your right hand to insert the ear plug into your right ear. For different people, the direction of pull will vary somewhat. But in all cases, you begin by firmly grasping the ear between the thumb and forefinger and pulling it away from the side of your head. If you feel resistance as you begin to insert the ear plug, then try pulling the ear in different directions and what you may find is that suddenly the plug slides in more easily. Also, depending upon your ear canal shape and texture and your familiarity with the plugs, it can be helpful to moisten the plug before you begin. Since the UltraFit plug is a one-size product, it will fit differently in ear canals of different sizes. That is shown here for extra small, medium, and extra large ear canals. Note how in the extra large ear canal, the trailing edge of the last flange of the ear plug is about flush with the entrance of the ear canal. However, for the canals that get smaller and smaller, more and more of the flanges will be exposed. There are four easy tests to check the fit of your earplugs to let you know if refitting is needed. The first is to listen to your own voice. Say the words, boom, beat, and pay attention to the sound of your voice. With a properly fitted earplug, you will create an occlusion effect that changes the sound of your voice as heard by you. This will make your words seem boomy, resonant, hollow, more full, or we might say bassy. Uh, you will have noticed that in the soundtrack, we have mimicked that effect by changing the sound quality. If you don't hear this boominess in your own voice, then try refitting the earplug. You can also compare the sound of your voice between the two ears to make sure it is balanced and appears to be in the center of your head, indicating that both plugs are fit the same. The next two tests, the tug test and the pump test, rely on the fact that for a plug to be well fitted, it must make an airtight seal within the ear canal. So for example, if you try to move the plug by gently tugging on it, you will notice that there is resistance as if you were trying to move a stopper from a bottle. If the plug easily slides out of the ear without any resistance, then that's an indication that the plug was probably not sealed. The pump test is similar take the stem of the plug and gently pump it in and out of your ear canal. On the in-stroke, you are compressing the trapped air, and on the out-stroke, you are releasing the pressure. This compression and release will push and pull on the eardrum, moving it back and forth. You will feel this as though you were going up and down in an elevator or ascending and descending in an airplane. If all you feel during the pumping is a sense of touch in your ear canal and you don't feel any of this pressure change, then the plug is not properly sealed. The fourth and final test is to listen to your ears. There's a couple of ways you can do this. If you begin by listening in the presence of a steady noise, inserting both ear plugs well, you should notice that the sound is balanced between the two ears. If one ear is substantially louder, that plug isn't fit as well, and you should try and insert that plug better to get more of a sound balance or create makeshift earmuffs by pressing your fingers tightly together and sealing your palms over your ears. If you have your plugs well fit underneath, 
then your cupped hands will not have much of an effect on the sound quality. But if the plugs are poorly fitted, you will have a very noticeable reduction in the sound levels when you cup your hands over your ears. Keep in mind that although well-fit plugs should be snug, they may work loose with time because of talking, moving your head, or chewing food, for example. So listen to your ears, and if you notice a change in the sound levels, then be sure to refit those earplugs during the day. When you are ready to remove your earplugs, please do so with care. Since the plugs make an airtight seal in your ear, yanking them out quickly can be painful. Make sure you twist the plugs slightly and remove them slowly. And don't be a smart aleck and yank someone else's earplugs out. That would also be painful for them. One more thing, ultrafit earplugs are durable, but they do wear out. Check your plugs to make sure that they are still soft and pliable, that the flanges aren't cracked or separated at all from the stem of the earplug. If you see any of these problems, get a new pair. Thank you for your time, and now it's up to you. Try these suggestions, be willing to practice, pay attention to your ears. You will be rewarded with a lifetime of good listening.